how to debloat Android 11 without a computer and without root. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can debloat your Android 11 device and above without having a computer and without having to root it. Do note, the only thing you need is to have the option of wireless debugging in your developer options and that depends on your OEM as well whether they have enabled it for you or not. All the files, all the applications which we're using in this video are linked in the description of the video along with all the commands which we are going to use. So first up, you need an application which will let you install APKs. I am using FX File Manager. You are free to use any file manager application which you want to. So we'll go into main storage and download and here is the application which we need. It's called LADB and as I mentioned earlier, it is linked in the description of the video and if you download it on your phone directly, it will be in the download folder. All you need to do is tap on the application and select install. There it is. You can see it is blocked by Play Protect. No need to worry. We are going to say install anyway and the application was installed without any issues. Do you want to send it for scanning? We are going to say do not send. What about the trust issue for this application? Well, the application is an open source application and the source code is also linked in the description of this video. Feel free to go through the source code and in case you want to get the application from the Play Store, it is present in the Play Store also, but I think it costs something like $3 and there's some controversy also about it with the developer of the app and another developer thread for that can be found in the description of this video as well. So we have compiled LADB and installed it on our device. Next thing we need is another application called App Inspector. So we're going to go to the Play Store and search for App Inspector. Here it is. This of course is a free application. So we'll go ahead and install it. Now once we have installed all the applications on our device next thing we need to do is enable developer options again the process might be different for your device based on what android skin you are running i am running a rom which is based on aosp so i will go into settings and then i will go into about phone now once i'm in about phone i will tap on the build number seven times till I get a toast notification that I am now a developer. Then we go back into settings, system, advanced, and we have something called developer options. Herein, we will scroll down. The first option which we need to enable is wireless debugging. Always allow on this network. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi enabled. Select allow. Then we are going to enable USB debugging and select OK. Once this is done, we need to open the LADB application. There it is. You can see it is asking us for a port number and a pairing code. Where do you find this information? This is again in developer options. So first up, let us open the recents and try to open the application in a split screen view. The first app we want is LADB and then the next app we want is developer options now once we are in developer options we can tap on wireless debugging scroll down and choose the option which says pair device with pairing code now this here is our pairing code and the port is the number after the colon let me take a picture of this because i do tend to forget things and rather than using a piece of paper i have a phone here with me so Let's take a picture, then we can open that picture and here is the pairing code and we also have the port. So first up, we are looking for the port and the port is 38707 and the pairing code is 282079. Just make sure the information is correct. We'll double check it, 38707. 282079 tap on ok there it is wireless debugging was connected without any issues 
and we got a success message in LADB as well. At this point, feel free to quit your split screen view and go into the normal mode. So we are in LADB success. This is where we enter our commands. Let me enter a command to check the SE Linux status, which is get enforce. Press the enter key. There it is enforcing, which means ADB is working without any issues. Next thing, let me open the application drawer and let us say I want to remove the camera application. For starters, if I go into app info, you will see I do not have the option of uninstalling this application. So let us assume this is bloatware, which I want to remove. Now, this is where app inspector comes into the picture. Open app inspector and herein, we need to search for the application which we want to remove. Let us say we want to remove the camera application now the thing which is of importance to us is the package name we need this to remove the bloatware and in case you want to bring it back you again need the package name so for starters let us take a screenshot of this so that if we need it in the future we have it handy next up back into app inspector and search for again the application which we are going to remove which in this case was the camera application here it is and now if i tap on package name i got a toast notification that copied to clipboard next up open the ladb application and we are going to enter the command to remove this so the command is pm space uninstall space hyphen k space hyphen hyphen user space zero space and name of the package again all commands are present in the description of this video as well so here is the command and once you have entered all the part after zero space and press and hold and then paste because we had already copied the package name from the app inspector application once that is done tap on the check mark bam here it is we got the message of success and next up let us go ahead and reboot our device and while the device is rebooting please do not remove any system application which you are not aware of why because in some cases your device might not boot in which case you might have to perform a factory reset from recovery so please do your research due diligence before you uninstall a package anyways we are back into android and as you can see the camera application has now disappeared which means we have successfully de bloated an application and if you go into app inspector you will see that the camera application is missing from here as well which is why we took a screenshot of it because we do not know the package name now or you might forget so how do you bring it back for starters you need to go back into settings system advanced and developer options usb debugging will be enabled but wireless debugging needs to be enabled after every reboot so enable it always allow tap on allow once that is done we can open our application called ladb again you do not need to pair it again it should be paired it's going to take some time but it will kick in and there it is we just got a notification that wireless debugging is connected and we can again of course enter our command which is get enforce to check the se linux status we got enforcing now next thing let us bring the package back or the application back the command is cmd space package space install hyphen existing space and name of the package as i mentioned earlier all commands can be found in the description of this video let us open the photos application and here it is this is the screenshot which we had taken and the name of the package is com.android.camera2 so we will go back into ladb and enter the command so here is the command cmd space package space install hyphen existing and now we need to enter the name of the package which is com.android.camera2 once you have entered the command press the enter key bam here it is camera 2 installed for user 0 and next up let us reboot our device one more time back into android we can unlock our device and open the application drawer bam here it is camera application in the building opens without any issues and working without any issues as well and there it is peeps that is how you debloat your android 11 and above device without having to root it or without a
computer and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you